Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about filmmaking tips all surrounding shooting clubs and making kind of club after movies and promo videos. So, let's jump in. Now, as I'm sure you know, as it has pretty much been the topic of my channel for the past couple weeks, I have been uh, getting a lot, a lot, a lot of bookings for clubs. In fact, uh, my production company, TQ9, has been booked for the past five weeks straight every single weekend in a different city. It's been crazy. We've been in Exeter, Plymouth, Bristol. London and uh, we're about to be in Winchester. We've been booked all around the UK for the past five weeks. Absolutely crazy. So I thought, you know what? After this past five weeks of hustling, I, I've definitely got a couple tips in my brain that I could be giving out to someone else out there who wants to go film clubs or who's maybe just gotten into it or something like that. And you basically want to know the basics broken down for you. So Let's get it, man. Okay, first of all, this is gonna sound like a really basic one, I know, so bear with me, the tips get a lot better, but you're gonna wanna get to the club early. I know that sounds really generic, but you'd be surprised, man. Um, as, as well as having fun, you always wanna be professional as well, so that you guys uh, actually get invited back because you might get a one-off booking for a club, but what you really want to do is try to turn these people into clients. So whenever they have an event um, at whatever club they're having the event at, you get invited to be the videographer. That's how you start building up an actual clientele and getting yourself a lot of consistent work and could eventually lead this into being basically a full-time career. But you're going to want to get to the club early. 100% early so that you're not going to be missing anything. Of course, uh, it, it depends really what you've been actually hired to do. There's a couple different types of filming clubs, I suppose. If just an individual DJ maybe is trying to get you along to film his set or something like that, then maybe you'll arrive with the DJ at whatever his time um, and, and, and his set time is. But uh, for me, I actually go through the actual promoters of the entire event themselves. So I'm there making an after movie of the entire night itself not just like focusing on one kind of DJ guy, if you know what I mean. So I have to get there literally at the start of the night so I'm not missing anything. Um, I don't even start filming necessarily until maybe an hour or so after I've gotten there um, because you, you basically have to wait until it starts packing up and everything like that. Of course, you don't want any dead footage. The point is to make the night look as lively as possible so you don't want any gaps in the audience or anything like that. So that's another little mini tip is I would probably wait a little bit to start filming until it packs up. But I get there right away because of my my second tip, right? And my second tip is make sure the promoter introduces you to everyone who has a say in the night, uh, whether that's someone else involved in setting everything up or most importantly, the security. That's pretty much what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna find out who's in charge and for me, I said I go directly through the promoter so I already have their number or walk in there and, uh, and, and, and already um, have arranged to meet them. So as soon as I've met the promoter, I get them to walk me around, introduce me to everybody, especially the security, so that you're not gonna have any problems kind of maneuvering, going in and out the club if you need to get shots of the line outside or, uh, or, or various different things. And also so the security don't look at you like you're just some random fucking kid who decided to bring a camera to the rave and just start shooting everything for like a, <laughs> a random video. Um, but they actually know that you're meant to be there and you're doing what you're meant to be doing. You're not trying to mess anything up and you're not there acting on your own accord, just filming for, for your own kind of benefit type of thing. Um, they need to know that you're actually involved in the night. But once you've been introduced to the security, uh, you shouldn't have any problems throughout the rest of the night as long as you're not going crazy or getting drunk or anything like that and getting really fucked up and then you're just like a problem. Also, once you've been introduced to the security, uh, depending on the size of the club will depend whether you're going to be kind of researched and stuff like that on the way in. Smaller clubs that won't really have a problem with, um, with loads of drugs or any weapons or anything like that are pretty lenient on the searching, especially for the camera guys. They won't really give a shit. They they hardly ever really search us other than when going in once. Of course, for the bigger clubs, like I was just in Bristol this weekend filming a pretty big club. They were pretty, pretty tight on searching everybody's bags and making sure no one was trying to bring anything into the club that they weren't meant to be bringing in because, of course, this could affect the, the club so negatively if, for example, the camera guy wasn't actually a cool guy and he was pretending to film or he was actually filming, went outside and came back in with, you know, I mean, a, a gun or a knife or, or loads of drugs and started just selling coke on the dance floor <laughs> or something like that. So once you've met the security, depending on the size of the club, um, you should be all right just going in and out, in and out. Well, you will 100% be all right. It's just whether you're going to be searched on the way in and out again. So the next tip we're going to talk about, guys, is the different variety of shots. Of course, when you're at the 
club, you're not going to want to have just one basic angle. You're not going to be wanting to kind of annoy people as well by just getting super up close in their face and everything like that. People don't really respond too well to that. I, I've kind of found unless it's like a big group of people, then everybody's happy to get involved. But when you're kind of singling one person out and just shooting them. But a variety of shots is a 100% must. And also, another thing that I kind of like to do is, um, of course, I'm filming clubs pretty much down there every single weekend. So, when I film a club that I haven't filmed before, which has been like the last four weeks, um, as soon as I get there, I start looking around for anything that makes this club unique. So, for example, I filmed a club in Bristol on Saturday this weekend, and I'll show footage on screen right now. They had some awesome screens and stuff like that. Big-ass TV screens projecting, like, just some wild, wild animations and all these crazy effects. I'd seen similar stuff like this, but not obviously something exactly like this. So, I decided, boom, I was gonna get all that. And basically anything that is unique to the club, if you're filming a lot of clubs, of course, each after movie that you want to create, you don't want it to be like the last one. You want it to be, of course, similar as it's a, a, a club after movie, but you want it to have as many little unique different shots as possible. And um, in terms of just some random shots that I like to do and some, some kind of generic shots that I do, of course, I do the, the standard club shot, which is filming right behind the DJ. So you kind of see the DJ right in the middle of your shot and then the crowd in front of him slash her. And this shit sounds corny as fuck right here, but hot girls, pretty much every club promoter that I go to film for, literally point blank verbatim tells me just get hot girls <laughs> straight up so that's a pretty good mini tip for you there as well crowd shots but not just generic crowd shots when it's just on everybody a shot that i like to do is going in and actually joining the crowd and um zooming in on the dj through the crowd kind of having the crowd silhouetted and you're seeing the dj um all lit up and everything like that tip number four Make sure your setup is compact. Uh, nothing sucks more in my opinion and my experience than having to trek around like two bags of equipment that you don't even end up using. Seriously, like I've been so excited for a night before I've just gone and brought all my equipment. All my equipment. And then the next day you realize you could have actually made do without pretty much all of it, man, uh, aside from the basics. So now I pretty much stick to these basic things, which I would definitely stick to um, yourself as well, as it's kind of like, almost like the bare minimum to still make a really professional video. Of course, um, if you're dealing with maybe a higher budget than I am in terms of equipment, which it's very possible you are, then maybe your setup will seem a little bit different based on your actual price. But for me, I'm 18 years old. This setup right here is very much so in my budget. So for anyone around my age, this is a very, very good setup. Still gonna get you bookings for uh, very good money, but you're just not gonna be schlepping like two bags over each shoulder, trying to trying to squeeze in the club. I just bring my camera. Of course, you'd be pretty foolish without it. I never bring any mic equipment unless they actually specify um, that I need to bring it because the majority of the time, um, you just kind of edit to an after track. You're not actually editing to live audio because it would just be crazy jumpy everywhere it just, just wouldn't be practical at all so i bring my camera i always have a mounted light uh you can get yourself a basic mounted light for probably around like 50 bucks 50 pounds something like that and it completely does the job it just has adjustable light settings so you put that directly on the top of your camera and it will light up anything in front of you i pretty much just freehand the camera uh for for the majority of shots i usually just freehand if the club's big enough and it's kind of worth getting this type of shot i'm about to talk about and worth schlepping all the equipment then um sometimes i bring a rig just so we can get a shot kind of like this one right here which i'll show super speeded up um <laughs> on screen while i'm talking about it just kind of panning up the road or uh, zooming up the road and then kind of going inside of the club a very very cool shot of course if you try and do this freehand it's just going to be wobbly as hell man it's just not really going to work out at all and it's just, it's just going to kind of it's just going to kind of be really low quality and a bit amateur so of course if you do want to do a shot like this or some really really steady stuff um then you're definitely going to want to bring yourself a rig and finally tip number five don't get drunk man honestly i <laughs> This, you, you wouldn't think you'd have to say this, but god damn it. I've, I've been filming clubs for about a year now, okay? And when I first started doing it, I would just go there and get smashed, man. Absolutely smashed. Before the night would even be close to end, I'd be, I'd be trashed. And then um, I would kind of go back to edit the clips the next day and 
they'd be blurry or they'd be shaky or they would just be uh, focusing in on something really, really golden, really good and maybe just go away really quickly or something and wouldn't have savored the shot and just all these sort of mistakes. And also, it's just not really professional whatsoever. I just steady sip on beers throughout the night, but I never, never get smashed and I'm only sticking to beers. I'm not there on any liquor or anything like that. Maintain a professional work environment. Maintain um, a professional kind of... Um, manner about you and also this just goes without saying but I'll say it anyways if you want to be building up a clientele you have to conduct yourself in a professional manner you cannot be messing around with uh, looking fucked up in the club or anything like that so if you want to get invited back definitely uh, slow down on the alcohol, pace yourself, and just stick to beer. I, I don't know, if, you, if you're a heavyweight, by all means, go all out, man. I, I don't actually know, but me, I'm a lightweight, man. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm an extreme lightweight, so <laughs> it doesn't even take me too much to get me there. So I stick to beer, and I keep it professional. But thank you guys for watching today's video on filmmaking tips all around filming and shooting clubs and producing after movies promo videos for either promoters, DJs, or just the actual clubs themselves. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Jack. It's Jack Cole, Jack Cole TV. Have a nice day and goodbye.